time. In an effort to make things a little bit more clear about what we're doing in math, I thought I would make a video to put on Seesaw for you to understand um, the Make 10 strategy. The Make 10 strategy is a way for kids to do math quicker in their head. And while it seems a bit um, tedious right now, it is a great strategy for kids to have as problems get harder. So in our homework, we saw problems that looked like this. 8 plus 4 equals. Now while this problem looks pretty simple right away and most students are able to just know it, we want them to get the process of making 10 under control now. That way when problems get harder, it becomes more of a habit for them to do problems like this. So in the Make 10 strategy, basically we have students recognize that 8 is part of 10. So using the 10 frame to illustrate this process. Okay, so there we have 8 plus the 4. Eight plus four. And now we want to make 10. So what we're going to do is we're going to decompose this number four into a number bond. And essentially we're asking ourselves, okay, what do we need to make this eight into a 10? And I tell the kids, this is where the magic happens. So the magic happens when we move two over to complete the 10 frame. We took the two from the four and made it into a complete 10 frame. The first part of the bond then is two, where these two came over to make the complete 10 frame. Then I asked the kids, what do we have left over? Well, we have the two left over. In this situation, we see that two plus two would equal four. This is called a fact family or number bond. Now I look at the kids and I say, okay, we used our two to make this into a complete 10 frame because eight right here, plus the two equals 10. There, we made 10. That's the purpose of the strategy, to make 10. Because now, brought those two down, now we can bring over what's remaining, the two, to create a much easier problem, a much easier number sentence. This number sentence is much easier for kids to see and instantly recognize the answer. 10 plus two equals 12. And I always tell the kids, this problem up here is the exact same as this problem down here. All we did is we switched some numbers around, broke down these numbers, and put them in a different place. Now you're probably wondering, why are we doing this? Why is this such an exhausting process for a simple problem? Well, the answer to that is once we get into more double-digit problems, if kids are able to make 10, they can solve these problems faster in their head. We want kids to build their fluency in a way that helps them solve problems in their head later in life. This is manipulating numbers so that they have a better understanding rather than just sheer memorization. As, as always, if you have any questions about this, feel free to let me know. I'm here to help. These kids are doing fa fantastic with this already in class, but I know as they go home, this becomes more of an issue because they can't remember what to do. So use this as a teaching tool at home for your kiddos.